dudes welcome back to another video um, so today is actually Saturday uh, it's some free time so I thought I might just give you guys an update on uh, the red VTEC um, what Dane also did mention is that he got the paint back um, for Tarix bumper as well as he done some repairs um, on the bumper as well I think he did some repairs on um, the rust spots of the red VTEC as well so um, the whole plan is basically to go over to Dane, show you guys the update on the car as well as on the bumper and then just hang out with Dane and see what he's up to. I think he might be doing primer on uh, the red VTEC as well. Uh, so yeah, that is what you guys can expect on this video. So let's get going. Hey guys, I just arrived at Dane and this is Tardix bumper. I'm um, just going to go through with you guys. What was all done to the bumper as you guys can see it's kind of lightly sanded i think the bumper was blue before and white no? and maroon um, and then we move to the side i don't know if you guys recall um, the bumper was cracked over here so this bumper was actually repaired previously what dane did mention is that um, the previous person did add wire in here but they did not plastic weld it. they body filled it over the wire so what dane did was he plastic um, filled it as well as he um, fiber filled it, right? Fiber filler. And then um, he did it on this side as well as on the inside as well. Can you show me, Dane? So that's what the fiber filler looks like. So the bumper is basically um, ready for paint or ready for primer and then paint. I'll just show you guys the paint in a second. I uh, just want to move over to the red VTEC. So this is uh, the progress on here. Um, I wasn't here for the repairs of um, the rust over here. Um, Dane's father is actually the one that is um, doing that section of the video. Um, just a little background story on Dane's dad. He actually works for Mercedes. Or we just recently retired from Mercedes. Um, he also just gave us a story um, some time ago mentioning that um, when Mercedes and um, Honda basically left each other or how can i say what's another term for it when they separated um, they sold a lot of um, the pot so dane's brother actually owned a dock and dane mentioned that um what did your brother your brother buy from the front windscreen. so the front windscreen <laughs> dane's brother actually bought for only one rand so that's just a little story that i thought i'd share with you guys um dane also mentioned that there was a dent here that he had to fix um, so yeah, like I mentioned, Dane's father is sorting this section out. Um, by the looks of it, he did add some metal filler and uh, did some welds here. I'll just show you guys um, the end result when he is finished. Bear in mind, he is still busy with this section over here. Then I'm just going to walk around the car, show you guys um, the rear window is still out. Um, like I mentioned, there wasn't any repairs really needed here. He just covered it up over here. Then what Dane is currently busy with is um, he's fixing this door over here. So I don't know if you guys recall, um, I mentioned that there was damage over here. Um, however, um, going further, he mentioned that it started cracking and that is why he's trying to repair this over here. And then I think he did mention here's a dent over here that he also needs to repair. Um, so yeah, that is basically an update as to what Dane has done. Um, what we do plan on doing today is finishing up the door over there and then Dane said that the car will then be ready for primer um, so yeah that is basically what we have planned I'm just going to look for um, Tarix white paint and I'll show you guys that as well hey guys so this is uh, Tarix paint over here um, we went with a different company called Nansfield um, however before I do open up um, the scan I do want to say shout out to um, the company that actually reached out to me and that is also planning on sponsoring me in future um, with paint etc. I will announce who the company is um, in future. They did reach out to me but a little bit too late. Um, we already got this paint 
for um, the Red VTEC as well as um, for Tariq. However, in future, we do plan on working together. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let me just show you guys uh, Tariq's paint. So this is the color, guys. You can see it's very similar. Um, to my understanding, I think Tariq's car was already resprayed. So I can't really tell you guys if it's um, or what color his car is actually uh, exactly. But as you guys can see, um, the color is very close. I um, must say, this company did a very good job on matching the color. Okay, guys. So while Dane is going to uh, sand this door or fix up this door, he just asked me to sand um, some sections that he did not complete yet, um, like the inside over here as well as the inside of the doors over here um, he did ask me to use this what they call a, an abrasive pad if i'm not mistaken um, he also mentioned that the reason for um, actually sanding the inside um, on this side over here is because he is going to use um, what they call filler primer so just to give you guys an explanation what filler primer is um, it has an what was it called now again? It has urethane in it, if I'm not mistaken. So what the filler um, will do compared to a uh, normal primer is that it will basically, um, when spraying this over here, this layer over here, as you guys can see, um, because of the sanding, it creates a different type of layer. So that filler will basically fill um, that gaps over here. So when it does spray, um, there's basically no edge in in other words. So yeah guys, I'm just going to get started with the sanding and then Dane will just finish up the door and then we can start priming. Okay guys, so um, just another short explanation as to why I need to sand um, in the inside of here. Because as you guys can see, this is very shiny and this is rough. So um, when Dane basically sprays the filler, this also needs to be as rough as this. So this can basically be one. So when he sprays the filler this section will all be one and the rest of the section will then be normal primer because um i can say it's not really needed over here like i mentioned early on if this is all one um, it means that the edge is much more stronger and it will be less likely to uh, chip or to basically um, wear out more because as you guys know if you do polish a car uh, the edges are most likely to wear or chip like i mentioned early on Hey guys, this is the progress on the door. Um, they just used um, the block sander to basically level out um, the door. And as you guys know, he's going to use the orbital sander just to remove all the scuff marks as well. And then also what Dane is about to do now, um, he's about to repair this. I don't know if you guys can see these lines. These are actually cracks. Um, these cracks are because of body filler. I think they get a little bit hard. And I'm not quite sure, maybe um, while moving uh, the fender, these um, cracks actually appeared. And Dane is now going to fix it using some body filler and just filling these holes over here, or the cracks in other terms. Okay guys, so after just sanding it a little bit, um, we picked up that there is some brown streaks over here. So earlier on I mentioned that um, the crack could be caused by movement but um, they just confirmed that this brown streaks are actually um, rust so there is some surface rust over here which could cause uh, the paint to basically crack so what they is going to do now is just um, grind it a little bit more and see if it does spread um, and then basically cover it up again with some body filler Okay guys, so off camera, I managed to sand down all the areas that they asked me to sand down. Um, like this section over here. Inside of the door. And over here. As well as over here. I did the exact same side on this side as well. 
And like I mentioned, the reason for doing this is because we are going to use a uh, filler primer. And then on camera, like I showed you guys earlier on, Dana has sanded the door over here and fixed the dents as well as um, this crack that was on over here. And also guys, I just want to touch base on um, the whole rust situation over here. Um, also, what I'm saying or what Dana is saying is also just based on assumptions. So what we do assume has happened here is that this fender is not an original fender. When you remove the fender, it does say made in Taiwan. So that could be one of the reasons. Another reason could also be is that um, these pirate fenders come out in black and a lot of people assume that that is actually primed. That is not the correct primer. Um, so that is also why Dane mentioned earlier that you should use a filler primer is because the filler primer does have um, urethane in it which helps a lot with rust. Another thing that could possibly cause uh, the first surface rust is that there might have been a chip and water has basically flown in there and caused the rust. So like I mentioned this is only assumptions that we are making. However Dane did manage to basically fix um, the rust spots over here and then what we are going to do now is just tape the whole car up um, then just use some benzene and then the car will be all ready for primer Okay guys, so we just managed to tape up um, the whole car, the inside in the doors, everywhere is basically taped up, engine base covered, as you guys can see it's taped up over here, Danny just doing the bootlet over here, um, and I also just wanted to explain to you guys earlier on when Dane mentioned um, something about back taping, so um, if you guys can just have a look over here, um, if it's taped like this and you spray, this will then create a hard line but if you tape it and you basically um, fold it over like this um, it's basically what they call uh, back taping so let's have an example you spray over here the line will then be much softer than um, this harsh line over here so that is just a technique that I also just learned from Dane it helps a lot um, when you are doing this specific type of spray work also guys be in mind that this is only uh, the filler um, primer that we are using filler primer is self-explanatory explanatory um, it will basically just fill up all the sections that we repaired um, as well as where, where we sanded um, this will only be uh, the primer before we actually put on the actual primer for color
Okay, my dudes. Um, so this video is slowly coming to an end. Um, it is Saturday night and it is kind of getting late. However, before I do leave, I am going to give you guys a quick walk around on the car. So this is what the car looks like. Um, this is only the first coat. There is a few imperfections like over here. Uh, please do bear in mind that Dane will be giving the car another coat when I leave right now. Also, this is only the filler primer. Like I mentioned earlier on, the filler primer only basically fills up the gaps as well as um, the sand marks. Um, so yeah, this is what the car looks like. It's looking pretty good to me. I can't wait to actually see the car uh, tomorrow or in the week when I see the car again. Um, this is some good progress on the car. So yeah guys, I'm going to end of the video here. Um, Dane is basically going to continue um, spraying the car. So I'll give you guys another update maybe in this week. Yeah, in this week I'll give you guys another update and then we'll basically, I think you'll be spraying Tarix bumper this coming week as well. So that is something that you guys can look forward to in the next video. Um, however, I am going to end of the video here and I hope you guys are enjoying this whole um, build series because I actually took out my whole Saturday to show you guys this. Um, it's been fun for me and I'm learning a lot. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.